Hello, my name is Lauren Parker, and I'm here to convince you, County Commissioners, the necessity of having a DMO and full strategic plan here in Monroe County. A key DMO is necessary because it can help establish the competitive edge, ensuring sustainability, building tourist and local relationships, limiting the impact of tourism, and building a strong brand identity. Going into a little bit more detail of why a DMO can be effective and necessary is developing the attractions and resources in a way that highlights Key West and the rest of the Florida Keys for their authentic and unique characteristics that will make it thrive to ensure a positive experience between visitors, which allows tourists to venture outside their comfort zone. In the end, we will be able to deliver an excellent experience for our destination to our tourists. When we ensure tourism sustainability, we want to encourage responsible tourism practices to serve our to preserve our destination for locals and visitors. Income generated from tourism can stimulate our economy and in turn provide the new infrastructures and upgrades in the area that tourism needs to continue. We really want to make sure that our actions here in the Florida Keys are responsible because we're such a com small community with a lot to offer. Being able to build a tourism culture is important and we want to make sure that the local community looks at the tourism destination as something in a positive manner. We want to encourage our local communities to ensure that it's a mutual benefit for both stakeholders, residents, and other businesses. And to do this, we will work together with local hoteliers, restauranteurs, attractions, and other services and retail shops. We want our impacts from our tourism to be very limited because we do a lot of trips out in boats, not only for fishing charters, snorkel tours, um, water sports activities, but the Florida Keys waters are the major driving points here. We want to make sure that our reefs are preserved and we need to do what we can to make sure that we use the resources that we can to make sure that in 10, 20, 30 years, we are still able to rely on our waters for tourism and other money that comes in. Being able to do carry capacity studies to make sure that we are not close to over tourism and ruining places is extremely important for our very fragile community. If in Key West taking the bus or riding a bike instead of renting a car and driving is a big thing that can really impact in a large way. Being able to build a strong brand identity here is important because there are so many different target markets that come down to the keys. Therefore, making a brand identity essential for a successful marketing strategy Tours regularly return to a destination that they enjoy and good experiences become free advertisement. They share with their friends and family on their Facebook pages or other social media or recommend the best restaurants and things to do while they come to the Keys. Just giving their positive experience makes them want to come back as well as other people to visit. Many benefits of having a DMO and it plays a part in long-term destination development. It leads the tourism efforts so it gives the most current information about attractions and other businesses and events and stuff that go on here. It also aligns the visions and goals of the destination with the county. Um, DMOs also advocate for increased investments to enhance the visitor experience, so the taxes and other donations that come from partners is important 
to make sure that our DMO is actively marketing for us. Um, who is included? This is hoteliers, restaurants, bars, retail shops, water attractions, charter boat companies, the state parks, um, lots of different people make up the businesses and the keys, stakeholders and partnerships. Um, we want to use the DMO to attract other festivals and events and that will be something that will make people want to travel here. Local businesses do definitely benefit from a DMO and if they're able to market their places and their products, there is more chances for them to be busy and make money that they need to sustain in the Keys. This is Monroe's County's vision statement, and that is creating a better life every day for everyone in the Florida Keys by working to create balance in our quality of life, strong economy, and natural environment. Our natural environment is the most important thing to Monroe County. We rely on it very heavily and we need to make sure that the quality of life is there for our locals and our visitors. Um, Monroe County's mission statement is to enhance the quality of life by providing outstanding public services that is responsive to the needs of the county citizens, the unique community, and the environment. We need to make sure that our public services and facilities are up to date and useful for our influx of tourists, especially now they need to be clean and or open for all these people that are coming down. The plan, it has been broken up into four different parts place, people, product, and process. Um, to me, the Keys are such a unique place. We are a t chain of tiny islands, making this a desirable county to visit. It's nothing like anything in the United States besides Hawaii, which is detached. But when managing the destination, we have to account for all of the keys as well as the major keys separately to Key West, Marathon, Isla Mirada, and Key Largo are essentially all alike, but they are also quite different and they do attract different target markets because of that. Which brings us to people. There are many types of travelers who come to the keys. Business travelers come from the mainland and all over for conferences, work trips, and for sales. Um, these visitors can be the by themselves or with a group. We have leisure travelers who come for vacation and new experiences. These people are usually in a group or with at least one other person. Transient visitors are also something that the Keys experience um, from yachts and other boats that stop to get fuel and other combinations before going to their next destination. These guests are always usually in groups or in a crew of people. There are many places to stay as well, depending on the type of visitor. The Keys offers vacation rentals, hotels, motels, resorts, campgrounds, and RV parks. But it's not just the tourists that we have to think about with the people, but also the local community. Partnering with local businesses, transportation services, tour operators, hotels, service providers, activity centers. They want to be able to get out their goods or services out there so that people can see what they have to offer in the area. The Keys have so much to offer these guests between the ocean, uh, fishing, diving, other water sports, or other local businesses, things like shopping. The guest wants to have some type of outdoor experience, whether it's in or on the water, exploring the land. There's many people here that are buying things like t-shirts or artwork to bring home to remember their trip by, or even just the basic necessities at the drugstore, like some toothpaste or some aspirin. Um, taxi and rental services for bikes, scooters, golf carts are a big product here. Um, there's many, many activities you can partake 
and in the keys like water sports, fishing, snorkeling, personal exploration, um, shopping is everywhere in the keys, gift shops, specialty stores. There's also a few chains like Bell's Outlet, Kmart. Um, there are many beaches, museums, tours, art galleries, and historical sites to visit throughout the Keys. State parks or other sites like the Truman House. With all of that, I think it really does give guests a ex unique experience that will, they will remember and talk about. After identifying all of that, your place, people, and product, that's when you need to apply your plan. And that's the process. Tourism affects our county in such a way that without it, things could get ugly, as we saw during the COVID shutdown. Many businesses didn't recover, but the ones that did are seeing crazy positive impact in sales. Being able to market our county so that we can keep up the business while making sure that we are maintaining it in a sustainable manner, manner is important. The Florida Keys website is extremely helpful, but having a DMO would get more into detail when it comes to the marketing efforts. This website gives visitors a feel for what each place has to offer and the look to it is inviting and intriguing. A DMO can also help bring events to the keys, which in turn attracts more people. Having unique selling points like the Barrier Reef off our coast or historical sites is one way to market what Monroe County has to offer. Using data collected by visitors when in the Keys and while looking at pages online, it's a good tool when you're thinking about where to push marketing efforts. Blogs on YouTube and other social medias are great marketing for the Keys. Applying to people's senses is a foolproof way to get people to come and visit for themselves by just posting or collaborations with influencers or other travel websites. So, I believe that a DMO is very important. What do you think?